Well, we've reached the end of the day, and hopefully you can see that porting to the STM32 MP1, we've made it as easy as possible. So what you've seen, you've seen what the device has, and our embedded software distribution. You've seen the role that the Cortex M4 can play within an application as the real-time or co-processor in the system. You've seen, based on the fact that we've taken standard Linux and we've mainlined all the drivers, that it's easy to move to the MP1. There's not real much change in that side. And thanks to the, all the ST ecosystem, Anything that you're doing with existing Cortex-M devices can all be reused inside the MP1 design. So now, based on all that information that you've received, you should now be able to select a particular MP1. You've had a play around with the VM image, so you've seen the environment and how to develop. We've been in and out of the wiki, or we've referred you to different parts of the wiki on and off so you can see where to find all this information and when you get back to your offices you've got all the slides you can get your hands on a board and you can play around with one of those free packages we've got so start a package for just playing around with binaries and scripts developers package where you can modify and develop proper applications for further information you can always contact the regional FLEs like myself we have our online support which is myst.com and probably for about the 100th time today, the wiki.sc.com. So we'll keep referring you back to that wiki for all the relevant information. If you forget anything that you've learned today, this course should be coming on the online training soon. So you should be able to find it in the online training catalogue. And you've also got the communities out there. So you can all do the questions and answers in the community. It's monitored by third party people. It's monitored by ST people. So we'll give you the best information to help you design your end application. Hope you've had a really good day and thank you for listening to the MP1 workshop.